Welcome to News You Can Use for Grace United Church in Burlington. This is a very special week for Grace as it is our second anniversary, so congratulations to everyone at Grace United Church. Later in this video, we will get an update of what have they been doing from the three ministers of the founding churches. Up first is an update about the shredding event. Now that the province is slowly reopening, we are excited to announce that on Saturday, July 10th, Grace will be hosting a document shredding event from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., rain or shine, as this is an outdoor event. Cars will enter the parking lot and be directed to park in marked spots. Volunteers will direct the driver or offer assistance to help carry their documents to the shredding bins. We are suggesting a donation of $5 for a grocery size bag and $10 for a banker's box. Due to changes in the tax code, we will no longer be issuing tax receipts for donations. All proceeds will be directed to support the work of Grace United Church. Please tell all your friends and neighbors about this event to help make it a success. Remember to like our posts on Facebook and Twitter and forward on the e-blast from the church. Thank you to those of you who have already volunteered to work on the day. Hello, Grace United Church. If you're a reader like me and the other members of the book club at Grace, I'll bet you've been wondering what to read this summer. We can help you with that. Did you know that every year the book club reads, discusses, and rates eight books? At our last meeting in May, we rated the last of this year's books and determined our favorite for this year. I'm delighted to announce that this year's winner is The Hannah Artist by Alka Joshi. You can see our full list and find out more about the group on the GRACE website. Click on the Groups tab and select Book Club at GRACE. We will be meeting on Monday, June 28th to select the books for the 2021-2022 season. The list of nominees looks very interesting and I'm sure there is some great reading ahead for all of us. The Book Club is open to everyone at GRACE, so if you're interested, please join us. The link for the Zoom meeting is in Friday's GRACE line. Happy reading! So, hello everyone, and um, I hope that you are all faring well. I keep after you joined together as a community, I moved on to St. Paul's United Church um, for a team ministry position. I was um, doing sort of two jobs, pastoral care and youth and young families development. And uh, while I was there for uh, one year, I realized that uh, I really missed preaching and I really missed uh, a lot of the other aspects of ministry. That and I saw that Carlisle Kilbride was still searching for a minister and so I started to explore that with them and we both decided that it would be a really good fit and so that's where I have been since October and it has been a very good fit. I love this community and they love me, I think, and we're having fun exploring how to be church in this pandemic time. Uh, my family has been uh, great. The girls are doing well. Uh, Jackson and Violet are growing and thriving. So, all in all, we've uh, we've been doing very well. Larry is uh, is retired, and uh, you know he's kind of finding his stride and his pace. So it's a it's a good life. It's a good life, and um, I want to thank all of you who sent uh, condolences for my mom because, uh, as you know, she was very involved with Saint Stephen and and uh, and loved all of you. Well, I guess the big news is retirement. I retired in February, this past February. Um, so I was at St. John um, United in uh, Hamilton after Tansley. Ended up, I was just there till they had found a minister. Um, but because of COVID, it took forever. <laughs> so uh, instead of a few months, it was two two years and uh, a bit more. Yeah, yeah so... 
It was a good good experience, actually. Um, it, it's a very different kind of church. It's more evangelical. And, yeah, actually, my son's got engaged about a year ago, I guess now. It's almost been a year. Um, so there's a wedding coming up. Um, no, lovely girl. And um, they they seem like a real good real good pair. We saw that right right away when they... We have a daughter, Georgia, who's just another year and a half younger, and she's here in Guelph with us, and Andrew's in Toronto, and uh, doing well with um, public relations work with a real estate firm here in, in Guelph. And so is your wife she working? She runs her own private school here in Guelph, has been for, for some years now. And I'm the school janitor now. So, uh, yeah, so that's good. It's just I retired in February. That's a journey in itself. <laughs> I was uh, fortunate um, in part, a friend of mine, he does a few courses and it was on aging and spirituality. But it was very helpful just to sort of tap, you know, really sort of enter into those issues of what it means to age and it, with all the big subjects, forgiveness and yeah, truth telling in some ways. So, so it was very helpful to, to sort of, since we work for the salvation of others, most of our lives, maybe it's time to look for the salvation of ourselves. And uh, I think that's a good premise. And um, yeah, it just helped me to kind of move on a bit. And yeah, there's a struggle, you know, leaving ministry. I, I, you're a bit lost for sure. And, and all the things that made up your daily routines, of course, um, kind of look forward to not doing them but then when you're not doing them you sort of yeah so but i am enjoying it all in all and, um, but you do have to find purpose of course and meaning and so i i uh, finished up my time at lowville as um as a single point charge it was nelson and lowville before that finished that up and uh, then I went to St. Paul's in Oakville on a, a supply, and then I started my intentional interim ministry course and certification and been in St. Thomas ever since. So a little bit here, a little bit there, and, and uh, never a dull moment. Okay. So that's, that's what I've been doing, and my kids are, are getting older, and um, yeah, we're still in Milton. So how old's your oldest one now? She is 19. She just celebrated her 19th birthday. Yeah, but Bronwyn goes back to uh, Lowville to sing for them mm, fairly regularly. Okay. So that's that's really nice. So I have a middle one, my, my boy, he's 16. Yeah, he's just about to get his driver's license. So I figure I'm going to spend all my daddy points that I saved up with him pretty soon. <laughs> and my youngest is uh, Ev. She is... Uh, she is, what is she? She's 10, coming up 10, and uh, loves horses, everything horses. And yeah, and Lynn's still, Lynn's still teaching grade, uh, grade seven and eight mm -hmm. art. So that's a really happy place for her, except it's really demanding and busy, and especially online. 